Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about outliers, uh, their effect on measurements and uh, how you can recognize them. So in a box plot, you can see them readily. They show up as either circles or asterisks. Sometimes they will be described as being either minor or major, which is why sometimes there's a difference in the shape. So people will use different measurements. You can use IQR and multiplying it by 1.5 or 3. Some people use the number of standard deviations. So we're not going to talk about how to calculate if something is an outlier because that tends to be specific to the discipline that you're in. But when you think about outliers, they are bad when they are affecting a small group of people. And in that case, you think about it and like a teeter-totter. If you have a nice balanced data set, the teeter-totter will be aligned, right? They will be parallel to the ground. So if you add in though someone or a measurement that's a lot heavier to either end of the distribution, what would happen? Well, just like on a teeter-totter, it's going to adjust for that weight or just for that observation. And so you think about it, and it's gonna start pulling things toward it. And that isn't a good thing. That means that one individual or one observation is heavily impacting. Now, I always use the analogy of a teeter-totter because I remind people that that balancing point is actually the median. So does the median move if you were to add a large observation to either end of the distribution or the teeter-totter? No, it's not going to move. It's what we call robust against outliers. However, if you think about the mean, the mean is like sitting on top of the teeter-totter. So if you add a heavy observation on either end of the distribution, the mean is going to start sliding in the direction of that observation. And that means also because standard deviation uses the mean to calculate itself and because standard deviation... Uh, is a measure of variability, it's going to be significantly impacted. It's not robust against outliers. So if you have outliers that are on either end of the distribution, you could think of that as like a game of tug of war. And those measurements would be pulling against each other and therefore it would still create a symmetric data set or it wouldn't as significantly impact the mean or standard deviation uh, because it's on either direction and it's pulling equally. So that is a look at outliers. You can readily identify them in box plots, which is helpful. It's harder to see them in histograms. And that is how they impact measurements and um, why they can be detrimental. See you in future videos.